Hello everyone, my name is Brian Tomaszewski. Welcome to this video on Learning Python with GIS, a lecture for the absolute beginner. The audience for this video are people that have no experience with computer programming, and you're interested in learning about computer programming with Python. And more specifically, you'd like to learn about Python in the context of Geographic Information Systems, or GIS. So to let you know what the scope of this video will be, I'm going to introduce you to basic computer programming concepts, such as variables, lists, conditional statements, looping, definitions, and modules. These are some of the core ideas to get you started with computer programming. And specifically, I'm going to show you how to learn these computer programming concepts using the ArcGIS Pro software. So to be clear, I'm only going to use one tool in this video, ArcGIS Pro. And what I'm going to do is first explain the computer programming concept and then demonstrate that concept to you using ArcGIS Pro. So to give you an overview about what will be discussed in this video, first I'll tell you a little bit about what Python is. And then next, I'll give you a brief tour of the many places that you can find Python inside of ArcGIS Pro. Then I'll go through and show you about introductory computer programming concepts and how you can use those concepts in ArcGIS Pro. And I'll end the video with some specific next steps that you can take to learn more about Python in the context of ArcGIS Pro. If you've never heard of Python, Python is a modern, open source, cross-platform computer programming language. It's become very popular in recent years for a wide range of applications, most notably in data science in areas such as machine learning and artificial intelligence. It's the language of choice in software like ArcGIS Pro for scripting and automation. So learning Python in general is a very good skill that you will be able to transfer to other contexts as you build your career in GIS or any other related computing field. As previously stated, you can actually find Python in many places inside of the ArcGIS Pro software environment. And here, I've listed nine places where you can find Python. And in just a moment, we'll do a little tour of the software to look at each of these. And then later in the video, I'll demonstrate specifically how you can use Python in each of these places. And if you know of other places where you can find Python inside of ArcGIS Pro that I haven't listed, please leave it as a comment below in the video. All right, so in this part of the video, I want to just give you a quick tour of several places where you can find Python inside of ArcGIS Pro. Some of these you may be aware of, others maybe not. First off the bat, ArcGIS Pro actually ships with Python, and this can be really helpful for just getting started with Python programming, as if you've already got ArcGIS Pro, you don't need to even install Python, and you can find it if you go on a Windows system and look under ArcGIS you'll see that you get Python command line. You also get idle, which is a Python development environment. And if you look at other videos on my channel, I actually talk about using this environment, but right out of the gate. Now, of course, just make note of the version of Python that you get. This is an older version, version two, but still, if you're just getting started with computer programming in general, even an older version of Python is more than sufficient. You also, of course, have built right into ArcGIS Pro a Python window, which basically works like a command prompt. And you can access that through Analysis tab and then Python. And here you can see some code outputs that I was working on for this video. And I'm actually going to come back and use the Python window uh, several times in this video as we uh, explore different concepts. You also, with Model Builder and Models can export those as Python scripts.
So here you see a simple model that I created for this video that basically will buffer two shape files and then clip them from one another. And if you see here, I can export to a Python file or the Python window, but if I export it to a Python file, And in this case, I've exported it to C temp. And if I open it in a text editor like Notepad++, you can see that the model builder actually generates Python code. And I often tell my students, if you want to learn about how to do more advanced Python in the context of ArcGIS, models are a great way to get started because you can lay the model out graphically, export the script, and then go and modify the Python code in the script created from the model accordingly. Now that's not something I'm gonna talk about in this video, but again, this is just a tour. I wanna make you aware that it's there. Another very common use of Python in ArcGIS Pro is also the field calculator. And I'm actually gonna use that a lot in this video. And it's a really great way to get started. In the field calculator, if you go to an attribute table, in this case, I have the attribute table for this shape file called Mafrock Buildings. If I right click on one of the column headings and do calculate field, you can put simple Python statements in here and you can also write definitions and functions in the code block. And I'm definitely gonna show you that later in the video. Another place that you can find Python is in the labeling of features. And although there is a language they call Arcade, which was, which has been designed specifically for labeling in ArcGIS Pro, you also can do it with Python. So if you were to right click on a feature class and go to the labeling properties, you can build expressions using little bits of code for how you want your labels to look. And you get a choice of languages. Here's that Arcade I mentioned, but if you look, there's Python. And I'm also going to use this as an example to teach you introductory programming concepts. Now, as of version 2.5 of ArcGIS Pro, they've also started integrating what are called Jupyter Notebooks, or they're calling them notebooks, right into ArcGIS Pro. It used to be that Jupyter Notebooks were something separate from ArcGIS Pro, but now they've built it right into the software. And I debated about whether to use the notebook as a way to show you introductory programming concepts. And you probably could do that, but if you're watching this video and you have a version of ArcGIS Pro that is earlier than 2.5, you may not have this option. But at the end of the video, I'm gonna talk about under the what next or where to go next about Anaconda, which is a bigger universe of Python where you can get access to things like Jupyter Notebooks standalone, or learn about how to use them inside of the software. Another thing, of course, that's very important with Python and ArcGIS Pro is the Python Manager. And to show you where that is, if you go under Project, Python, this is a much more advanced topic, but this is, when you get into something called virtual environments and bringing different Python packages in. And here we see the Python package manager. Now again, because this video is really designed for people that are brand new to computer programming, a lot of this may not really make sense initially, but the idea here basically is that you have different packages or basically little bits of software that can do different things depending on how you're writing computer code. So for example, ArcGIS, this is the ArcGIS API for Python. This allows you to do data analysis with spatial data and so forth. And this ties right in with Jupyter Notebooks and data science and so forth. And I actually have a whole separate video on working with the Python package manager and setting up an external IDE integrated development environment so that you can do Python. So again, this is not really in the scope of this particular video, but look for a card I'll put in this video where you can learn more about this. And this is something as you build your Python skills, you're definitely gonna to wanna to take a look at. 
And finally, of course, there is ArcPy, and I'll show you a little bit of that later in the video. And what that is, is a Python, basically the, what they call the site module or the site library for all of ArcGIS Pro. And the way that works is by typing that in and you get various commands. And we'll do more of a demonstration of that later in the video, but that's also a really important part of Python within the ArcGIS Pro environment. So there you have a brief tour of where to find Python in ArcGIS Pro.